why tall people are more prone to cancer. Cancer risk increases dramatically with age, but what about height? Taller people are more prone to cancer because they have more cells? What about the effect of having more cells in the body? A data from four large-scale surveillance projects on 23 cancer categories, established that tall individuals are at an increased risk of cancer, with overall risk increasing by about 10% per 10 cm increase in height. Researchers have proposed that that factors acting early in life such as, nutrition, health, social conditions influence height and cancer risk. Leonard Nunney, an evolutionary biologist at the University of California, Riverside, challenges this hypothesis. Nunny tested an alternative hypothesis that height increases cell number and that having more cells directly increases cancer risk, which appear in the proceedings of the Royal Society B. For most cancers, the size of the height effect is predictable from the height-related increase in cell number. Tall individuals are at increased risk of almost all cancers. The effect of being tall on the risk of thyroid and skin cancer is high in women. For men, Skin cancers such as melanoma show an unexpectedly strong relationship to height. This may be because the hormone IGF-1 is at higher levels in taller adults. IGF-1 is a growth factor that is particularly important in early development, but IGF-1 has also been linked to a higher rate of cell division in tall adults. If cells divide more often, then the risk of cancer is high. Skin cells are dividing more rapidly in tall people due to high levels of IGF-1, then this could account for the increased risk for melanoma in men. Of the 18 cancers only 4 showed no significant increase with height in either sex, they are pancreas, esophagus, stomach, and mouth cancer. These cancers are more strongly associated with environmental factors. Nunny explained that two factors cause increased cancer risk, one is having more cells, the other is having more cell divisions. If you double the cells, you double the cancer risk. If you double the number of cell divisions, you more than double the cancer risk. Living a long time is the worst thing to do if you want to avoid cancer. But then what's the alternative? Men are taller than women on average which may account for why men get more cancer than women. About a third of this effect can be accounted for by men having more cells. But something else is going on to explain the rest. If all else is equal, large, long-lived should experience higher incidence of cancer than small, short-lived people. Larger persons having more cells, more divisions, and more mutations, may show no such tendency to be more cancer-prone. This is called Peter's paradox. How a species gets bigger and lives longer, it evolves additional barriers to cancer. It can be resolved through adaptive evolution, namely, that species subject to selection for larger body size and greater longevity evolve additional layers of cancer suppression. Next, Nani plans to explore how different cancers are being prevented in the body by looking at big long-lived. Thank you.